What's up guys? Welcome back to Cowboy Gastronomy. We missed you guys. It's been like a couple weeks. Yeah. But we're back and we've got a unique dish for you today that neither one of us have tried before. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's probably a bad thing that we're making something that we don't really know what the end result should be like. But regardless, I'm excited. It's a dessert. We don't make desserts very often because neither one of us... We don't like sweets really. Not really. <laughs> but for you, we're gonna make something sweet. We're making Ichigo Daifuku, which is a strawberry inside of a sweet red bean paste inside of mochi. Mm -hmm. So it's three levels of goodness. And we're gonna get to the core of it, the strawberry, AKA, and see if it's actually as tasty as it looks. And I'm very excited because I have seen these before with my eyeballs in the subways of Japan. Little, little old ladies were selling these because it was springtime and it's a nice little spring treat. But alas, I was a broke college student with no money to spend $6 on a strawberry. <laughs> so we're going to make it for ourselves today. Yeah, I'm really excited because strawberry is my favorite fruit. Same. And mochi is really good, and I'm also a fan of, fan of red bean paste, so... What could see how it turns possibly, out. what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, we're here at the grocery store. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping, get all the ingredients we need for the strawberry mochi. Let's go. For the red bean paste, measure out about one cup of Izuki beans and let them soak overnight. In the morning, strain them and put them in a pot with enough water to submerge the beans by about two inches. Bring the water to a boil and then drain the beans and fill the pot with water again. But this time, only use enough water to fully cover the beans. Bring that water to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and let them cook for about an hour while stirring and adding more water when needed. Once the beans are tender enough that you can smear them between your fingertips, Add 3 fourths of a cup of sugar and turn the heat to medium high while stirring continuously. Once the mixture is thick enough that you can scrape the bottom and it takes about a second for the gap to fill in, turn off the heat, add a pinch of salt, and transfer it to a dish to cool. Once the beans are cool, press them through a mesh sieve and separate the paste into six equally sized balls. For the mochi, grab a large mixing bowl and add 100 grams of mochiko and 20 grams of sugar. Use a whisk to combine. Then using a silicone spatula, slowly add 150 milliliters of water and stir until it reaches a thick consistency. Then cover the bowl loosely with plastic wrap and microwave for one minute. Once done, take it out of the microwave and mix well with the wet silicone spatula. Then for a second time, microwave for another minute. Mix well and then for the last time, microwave for 30 seconds. At this point, the mixture should be pretty thick. Sift cornstarch on a tray and place the mochi on top. Then divide the mochi into six equal pieces. Now you're ready to assemble. First, wrap the strawberry with the red bean paste, but leave the tip of the strawberry uncovered. Then take the mochi and place the red bean covered strawberry on top of it, with the tip facing down. Start wrapping the strawberry from all sides, and once all of the sides meet at the top, twist the mochi to close. Feel free to reshape the mochi once it's all wrapped. Once all of your strawberries are wrapped, chill and serve. All right, so we finished our second dessert, right, that we've ever made on Casual Gastronomy. Yeah, because the first one was the galette. Yeah, the uh, persimmon galette. Check out that video. That was a very interesting dessert. Mm -hmm. I, I should make that again, I like that. We made strawberry mochi. Uh, Ichigo Daifuku and It was a little bit of a struggle. It was hard. Like first the red bean paste It's not hard to make but it's just very time-consuming and you sort of have to watch over it the whole yeah. time to and make sure it's not burning. The strawberries So hard to take off the, all those little leaves one by one Ha 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 ha. Anyways <laughs> the mochi though. Yeah, so that's where we had the big struggles. Mm. It was, uh, wait, let me think of a pun. The mochi gave us mochi trouble. <laughs> it, it really did though. So yeah. when I was making the mochi, I accidentally put double the amount of flour. Then I couldn't go back because I had already added the water. So I just added double 
the rest of the ingredients. But I think that may have messed up the ratios or like it's not supposed to be doubled. So our first batch of mochi was really liquidy and when we tried to assemble it, it just would not stick. Or like it was too sticky that it would just like yeah. mix with the It was just paste. like a paste. It would not yeah. like, it wouldn't form a, it wouldn't be mochi. No, it just, <laughs> it wasn't the right texture. So we had to emergency make another batch. Yeah. And that one with the correct ratios, Turned out pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with happy. it. But I think for what we had to go through to make this dessert, mm -hmm. pretty successful. Yeah. Like we, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie, but. <laughs> <laughs> they had us in the first half, coach, but we really pulled through. Yeah, I think we did, they look pretty good. Yeah, no, they, they definitely, they don't look exactly like the pictures. It's far from perfect, mm -hmm. but, um, it's pretty, it's close enough. There's room for improvement, but yeah. I'm not, I wouldn't say this is the failure. It doesn't just look like a ball of mashed potatoes and gravy like it did before. That's what, well, <laughs> yeah, it's, it wasn't good, guys. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> ugly out there, to be honest. Okay, do you want to try one? Let's actually see what this tastes like. Okay. This one looks good. It's so sticky. All right, so I'm about to eat rice and beans with strawberry. <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts first. So the mochi is a, a little bit too soft. Mm. I like the flavor of the red bean. I like the flavor of the strawberry. Mm -hmm. Not sure how I feel about them all together. I think it's... The texture, like the mochi and the red bean, is very soft. And then like the, the strawberry. strawberry is a little crunchier. And normally you'd be like, oh, there's such a variety of texture and flavor, it's great. Mm -hmm. But for some reason this one is, um, I mean, it's probably delicious for a lot of people, but at least the ones that we made here are, are kind of just like confusing to me. Yeah. I think... Like all, all of these, like strawberries, red bean paste, and mochi separately, I really like. But I don't know if together I would make this again. Right, just to clarify, <laughs> I love mochi, I love red bean, and I love strawberries. It's just all together. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, it's just like, is this really the ideal way to eat a strawberry? And we don't really know if it's just our like our cooking that's bad, right. but like I feel like we would have to taste a real Where one. can we go to get a real one though? I don't know, I've never seen it. I've only seen so, it in Japan. Yeah, so we have to go to Japan. <laughs> Stay tuned when Next we go episode. to Japan, just to get a strawberry and then fly yeah. back. But, so it may work when it's done by someone who's an expert and like has been doing this for many years, but I, ours. We're strawberry is, novices. Yeah, we are. Well guys, this just shows not every episode is gonna be mind-blowingly delicious, but it is the best episode we've ever made because mm -hmm. we've learned. We're being honest with you guys. This is real. This is real life, yeah. Like you, you wanna <laughs> make something and then it just doesn't do that. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> sometimes it lets you down and you're like, wow, I really just spent four hours making this and I don't even like it. <laughs> <laughs> but you should still try it. Because maybe yeah. yours will turn out better than ours. Right. And then we'll have to taste yours. And that's what you gotta do. You can't just stay in your comfort zone and try to make the things that you already like and try and do the things you're already good at. You gotta step out, try something that you've never done before every mm -hmm. once in a while. And that's how you grow, both spiritually and around the waistline. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>